Hey, you want to learn something useful? Come on, let's go. Hi, this is Chris at My Handyman, and I want to teach you how to do all those little jobs and chores around your house that I know that you can do without calling for help. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, welcome. And please, please, please subscribe. There's a little red button here someplace. It just push that. If you're returning, welcome back for another lesson and get ready. We're about to begin. But will it fit into a regular drill? In. So it's okay. It can be used on a drill. It can be used on a, uh, a, a compact uh, uh, impact. So this is how you actually use them. They're, they're, it's kind of like a regular drill bit. You got to be a little bit fussy about it. Okay? And I'll show you what I'm talking about. But we're going to take this big one out and we're going to put in the one inch. Okay? It says one inch on it. And we're going to put it into the drill itself. Okay? So, eye protection, ear protection. Let's go down like this. And our piece that we're going to be working on hangs over the edge of our bench. And I'll tell you why. Because when we're drilling, making a hole with a paddle bit. So what you want to be able to do is drill a hole, but you want the spiral or the point to be able to come through just coming through. So once it protrudes through, you want to be able to stop. So you're going to be stopping and going, stopping and going to make the perfect hole. Now, I'm going to show you two things. I'm going to show you first off what happens when you just punch it through and then the other one is when we stop and go, stop and go, and turn it over and finish on the other side. Now I'll show you. Now we're just going to pop it right through. You can start here, and here we go. Okay. The hole is in. Take the crumbs off. Take a look at that. Now that's the top. This is what happened. This is what happens here. See that? That's not what you want. Now I'm going to do it on the other side. I'm going to put the hole here and I'm going to stop it periodically when that spiral comes through and I'm going to finish drilling it on this side. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, here we go. I'm stopping, I'm feeling to see if, if the point is coming through. I don't feel it yet. It's just starting to come through. Okay, now what? Okay, taking this out. There's the hole. Now I'm going to finish it up with the hole. You see the holes on this side now. And I'm going to finish it up with this. Okay. Here's the fronts. Here's the one we just drilled straight through and saw the damage on the other side. Here's the one we t took our time with, waited for the point to go through, then finished it up on this side. Now look how much cleaner that is. All because you, you waited. You waited for that point to come through, you flipped your board over, and finished up the hole. That's it. All paddle bits are the same. Some of them have, this is the, the procedure with all paddle bits. This is what you do. Some paddle bits have a spiral on it, which will actually just pull this bit down into the wood like a screw. That's what this one does. There are ones, there are less expensive ones that have just the point on them, kind of like a drill bit, that you have to force the drill down into the wood itself. 
This one, it pulls the drill down into it. The other ones, you have to force it down into. Either way, when that point starts to come through the other side, you stop. You flip your work over, finish it up on the other side, you get a great looking hole. And that's what, that's what paddle bits are for. Now, you could do the same thing, kind of, with a regular drill bit, but there's no tip on the other drill bits. You're going to have a tendency of plowing right through and you're going to get that damage. Besides, how many drill bits do you have? Just regular drill bits or this one here is an inch and I've got all the way up to an inch and a quarter and they come bigger. So you need something like this to make that larger hole and that's the procedure you go through. Now if you would please, there is a button over here. Would you uh, push that and subscribe? That would be wonderful. Um, I, I enjoy showing you how to use the tools that I have and the tools that I think that you should be using for your own workshop. Uh, if you have any other, any other tools or any other things that you want me to test for you, see if it works for you, um, give it a shot before you buy it. Um, yeah, I'd be happy to do that. Just let me know down in the comments. I answer everything. So just give me a, give me a shout and we'll see what we can do for you. And, uh, We'll see you on the next video.